Okay, is that rolling? Oh, look at the lovely hair and the lovely outfit and the lovely Ben, <laughs> who thankfully is still alive. Because uh, we're doing this video due to the fact that he had emergency medical. <laughs> Truthfully, it was mad. It was mental. And um, you talk about it a little bit. What happened? I'm not talking about it. Okay. Well, I did everything in my power to keep him alive, right? He was dying at home. I tried to call uh, 999 on my phone and it wouldn't work. Now, it was it's only me caring for my son, so there's a problem because his phone was not even in sight. I couldn't leave his side. He was desaturating, which means he was his oxygen um, was not pumping around his body. His eyes was going and his breathing went. And and I just had to grab the oxygen. I, I, I've got him on full, full oxygen. He's obviously a spinal brain injury, blah, blah. Um, uh, with no COVID jabs. <laughs> Very proud of that one with him. Um, and Can anyway, we've gone through this emergency. And I just, like four or five hours afterwards, I, we're doing this video because I've just rung up 999. I'm fucking knackered, man. Excuse, excuse my language, sorry. I'm knackered. I've just rung 999. They were sending an, an ambulance out to us. And I went, no, I don't need an ambulance. I'm trying to make a call to tell you that the 999 services, are they working? Because they didn't work on my phone, but they worked on my son's phone. Um, so, what I'm trying to say is I'm absolutely fed up of our systems of how they're working, how it's worked in healthcare has been disgusting, it's discreet. It's, it's, it, oh, they've been disgraceful to be fair. And um, even down to the last like, couple, three years, it's just been horrific. Um, the, the lies and everything else, but today has just nailed it for me, right? Because why is it that that somebody like myself, not just myself, but there's someone, there's other people around us, that we are up against these institutions, right, that are not listening. They didn't listen when we told them the mask didn't work. They didn't listen when I told them the test didn't work. Um, and they still didn't listen when we told them that there's a drug out there that would have worked. Um, so after three years of being in this, kind of life that they took away 16, 17 months really of your life, but really three years of Ben's life. <sighs> because well, I'm fighting for care for him, which uh, the care is like a carer's job. They want a care, just a carer's job. Well, if they want a, just a carer's job to come in here, then what happened uh, before five o'clock today, I have never ever had to give my son four lots of rescue meds. I've never had to give him full oxygen like that in that way and change two catheters to then have to think of another way of getting the urine out of his blood, out of his kid, out of, just out of him. It was, it was. He's got a distended stomach and uh, his tummy and um, the urine was back flowing inside and that was causing AD, which is called autonomic dysreflexia and he was actually dying. And um, it's just been horrific. So we call the ambulance service just on his court, on his phone. They're sending an ambulance out and I just says, I don't need an ambulance. I'm trying to make a complaint. There is no complaint. There's no complaints procedures for nothing. I'm absolutely drained over the ombudsmen, the MPs, the parliament, the 
the government, the, 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 just everything, because nothing, they're just not listening to people who have been, who, well, they're not listening to people like ourselves who have just done nothing but fight since March 2020, um, when this thing was around in 20, 2019. Uh, and I can guarantee that one because at the end of the day, in 2019, you had COVID, didn't you? Yeah. Um, Ben's not talking because he's still in shock um, with what's happened. And we've oh, only just eaten. We're just tired We're just well. knackered. We just need to go, go to sleep. I need to make sure. I've got to stay awake half the night. So I'm going to sit in the chair, put my feet up and just keep doing the alarm like I did. There's just so many things that we could say about tests didn't work, um, masks didn't work, PPE. And we, we explained all this to the government. We did things. Did they listen? No. Uh, and now we can't even get 999. How disgusting is that? So if I hadn't got the skills that I did have and after these two capital changes i called it quits so like i ain't doing that I'll, do, I'll go on to somebody else and that therefore i went and done that um and i've put a report in um and hopefully a surgeon will be on him on monday now be, not from our institution uh because uh i don't trust them i will never trust anyone i won't trust anyone in government i won't trust anyone in politics i won't trust anyone on a, any kind of their, them spectrums right now because they've all lied to you. And if they haven't lied, you can tell them a little about your story if you want to know about your COVID and how you've got COVID. Well, you know Where did we go? Nowhere. I know. We did. We, we, we've got a lovely garden we used for a barbecue and stuff. But, and uh, all we done was breathe air. We got COVID. Well, he got it more than me. Uh, he read it three times, really, didn't he? <sighs> and he's knackered like this because of what he's just been through. And he should really be in a hospital. But I don't trust the hospital now to even <laughs> check him out for the night. So I'd rather stay up and do it myself. Being so knackered. And because they haven't got no nurses. They haven't got no doctors. They haven't got no carers. They haven't got enough of us. I'm not a nurse and I'm not a doctor and all that, but I have, I have got, and I keep telling these people this, I have a certain set of skills and it's not on just one level. So stop dissing me. Stop doing what you're doing to me. Right. And start thinking about people instead in this country that you've jabbed and that you have caused harm, right? That it was a trial as you know, look what Imperial College was doing with Brazil. What was it? Uh, Brazil, wasn't it? Brazil. Yeah. And I only knew this because then I decided to take one of their little tests. You know, random it was. How can it be random? They random in as well. So how can random tests come to the same address? So yeah, they were doing. They were testing in Brazil in twenty. Just it was it the end of twenty twenty, but I think it was something like that. 20 or well, beginning of 2021 I can't remember but the videos I done I could not put out because I, sw I was swearing I was angry I am I still peed right now and I, I would swear right now because I feel like I've just done a hundred rounds with Mike Tyson because my adrenaline had to stay on I don't know on me I know I know and you know having like a Equipment, we're really grateful that I've got all, like the equipment to, to keep them alive. But or what about the people at home right now who can't get emergency services? People need to test their phones. Test your phone for 999. Because that's what I did. Um, but there again, he's works. But there again, that what we're doing beyond the scenes, the complaints we're making. Huh. Um... We've been sort of um, 
threatened. I'd say that's a threat, actually. If you don't, if you don't release your data to us, we're not going to make your complaints. We're not going to take your complaints serious, and therefore, your complaints will um, be obsolete as of the nineteenth of this month. Well, you know what? You carry on doing that because the complaints will go forward, and I'll make sure they go forward because of what you've done to the people and all the B BS. What about Matt Hancock? He had his hand all right. I'm not sure about down there with that woman in that office, because I thought that was fake. Um, I just think everything has been planned. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, like a lot of people would say, and a lot of people called me, didn't they? Right at the beginning of the yeah, man, man thing, because it happened in 2019 with us, so. We did in, we did import a lot of PPE from the USA to be fair in the January because of I didn't think it was right. It went straight to his lungs. So I was thought, what's what the hell's that? Um, but you know, I'm rambling and rambling and rambling because I'm so freaking tired, and I just need to make this video just to document it because I've documented so many other videos that I haven't been able to put upload, do nothing with because my language is just horrific because you got I got to a stage after the first 10 months on the first video I did do and I've, I've still got them the, the videos I was crying I was ranting I had nothing to talk to but this screen I couldn't talk to my son because of the problems that we were having and and we were facing um and this country is facing hell right now because I, we've had nurses and they broke six ventilators, ripped five catheters out, pulled God knows what, done lots of things to you, um, and um, now he's got to have surgery. So it's really nice, Britain. And that's what we pay our taxes for, for 999. Check your phones.